I'm Camilla Benbo. I'm the Dean here of the Peabody College of Education and Human Development at Vanderbilt University and I have been here almost 15 years. In terms of my history and where I came from, I got all my degrees at Johns Hopkins University. I guess when I saw a good thing, I stuck with it. And, uh, you know, bachelor's all the way up to a doctorate. And uh, my work was in the area of talent development, and those were where my degrees ended up being. And from Johns Hopkins, I was there actually for 11 years and stayed on as a research associate and assistant professor part-time. And then I went on to Iowa State, and there I worked my way up through the faculty ranks uh, and eventually became, I was very uh, very proud to say uh, and pleased about, as I uh, became a distinguished professor. And I was also a department chair there, department chair of psychology, because, and then I became an interim dean of the College of Education there. So actually my, fa my appointments were in the psychology department. Well, my research interests are in the area of talent development. How do you identify talent, but most importantly, how do you develop that talent once you've identified it? So what we found out was that to intervene educationally on behalf of gifted students, it not only helped them intellectually and kept the passion alive for learning, it also helped them socially. And then what we have done since then is that we have a longitudinal study and we've been following up these kids throughout their adult lives to see what happens to them and about three weeks ago we closed our age 50 survey so I can't tell you what we found because you know we haven't been able to analyze the data but it is very exciting and we had a you know, wonderful response rate and over 80% of the students participated in the survey so I can't wait to see what has happened to them so that's my li lifelong work is trying to understand giftedness, how do you intervene educationally, but then as they become adults, the issue becomes one of developing excellence, becoming eminent, and what are the factors that are necessary to come together in order for an individual to become excellent, to become eminent in their field. So those are the kinds of questions we're pursuing now. Actually, HRD, the current version of the HRD department was actually formed under my time here, under my tenure, and I'm really, really very proud of the HRD department. And I think what's so special about the HRD department is the fact that you bring in, and actually, this actually, HRD reflects Peabody as a whole, but what is special about it is that it really takes a faculty from so many different disciplines and they take their perspective, their lens, their theoretical lens, their methodological training, and they focus it on problems of human development, on developing strong communities, and so on. And I think that's the way you should view uh, research today. People talk about it's interdisciplinary. No, in my mind, but the powerful way of looking at problems today isn't interdisciplinary, but multidisciplinary, where you are trained in your discipline, where you will have rigorous training that goes very deep in your discipline. You understand the theories and the concepts of your discipline and the methodologies, and then you can apply them to a problem. And if you have a sociologist and a psychologist and an anthropologist and a political scientist all putting their, you know, their lenses on this problem, what a powerful perspective when you can combine those approaches. I mean, first of all, I think it designed a very innovative undergraduate major. And, you know, when you read the, the literature today about how do, we re, how do we reinvent undergraduate education, I think HOD did it, and they did it a long time before everyone else was thinking about it. And, and so I think one of the things is that it's a leader in, in undergraduate education of a model of how you could, how undergraduate education could be done today to make it more relevant, rigorous, and fit the needs of today. Uh, at the same time, I think that its focus on communities is, is it complements so much because so much of our work in, at Peabody is focuses on an individual student, for example, an individual person, that these individuals in the, are in groups, are in communities, and in order to make enhance human potential, you have to have, you need to focus on the individual, the groups, but you also need the, the community. All of these things communicate, all of these contribute to human development. And if you, anything I've learned from talent development is, is that, you know, yes, you have a driven person, a person who's passionate, 
who's capable, who has talents, who works hard, has zeal, but yet they have families that support them. They have friends that support them. They're in supportive environments, supportive communities. And for somebody to become truly eminent, not just excellent, but even excellent, it requires this, but to become excellent and eminent, it, all of these things have to be in place. The community has to be there to be support the individual. And so I kind of think that as Peabody, one of the themes that about Peabody that unifies all of our departments is that we're all about enhancing the human condition. That's what we're all about. And you can do it through education, through training wonderful teachers. You can do it through psychology and looking at individuals who can help people, for example, socially and emotionally. Or you can do it through developing leadership. Or you can do it through developing powerful communities that are empowered to tackle important issues in their communities. And it all comes together because it's all about empowering the human being, enhancing the human potential. And so I, it's, it all comes together very nicely. And that's the kind of missing piece. If we didn't have the communities part, we wouldn't have the whole picture. I think you're only as good as the people. So obviously, uh, to become number one and to be the best that, you, that a school can be requires that you bring in just absolutely top-notch students and faculty. And that's what we've done. We have, I mean, when you go around the Peabody campus, you cannot help but be impressed by the caliber of our students, whether they're undergraduates, professional students, or graduate students. And you can't help but be impressed by the faculty members who are here and what they do. And, you know, as I sometimes say, you know, I, I write a Camilligram every couple of weeks, and I'm amazed at the number of awards that our faculty and our students win. Every Camilligram has at least one person who's won an award, usually it's several that we congratulate for their wonderful accomplishments. Well, when you, put one, when you put talented students together with talented faculty, magic happens. I, I think that in a way, I think we have had a clear sense of purpose and I don't want to change that sense of purpose because I think enhancing the human condition is a compelling mission and it's not one that its agenda will be completed. <laughs> and so I hope that HOD not only will continue to be an innovator in undergraduate education, but that it will be the leader in terms of how do you develop powerful communities that address important issues in our communities, whether it is empowering immigrants to, you know, to help them develop new communities for themselves that can help them take care of themselves and their individuals, or whether it's dealing with housing for the poor, these are all about helping people. I like, to, I like to be remembered for that I came to Peabody at Vanderbilt and I really helped that college be all that it can be. And that I hope that when, say 50 years from now, 70 years from now, people look back at this time, that they say this was a golden age when great, wonderful discoveries were made, where we sent out leaders who made a difference in people's lives, that this was truly a special time period. You know, we all look back in our disciplines and we all see time periods in our disciplines that were just magical, where things happened, where there was just a confluence of events, people, and as a result of that, magical things happened. And I hope that when we look back at Peabody 50 years from now, that this time period that I'm here, that people will look and say, that was a special time. You know, just like when I look back on my discipline and say, boy, I wish I could have been there and seen it. I hope people will say, I wish I could have been there and seen it. <laughs> and that it set something apart, you know, whether I hope that we will have new insights on learning that will help people learn at levels we never thought was possible that we will develop new insights about human development that help people be more than they, what we think that people can be today. And uh, that, that's my hope. It's my hope that we, not only that this was a magical age, but that we created understandings and people who could continue that tradition 
and so that it had a lasting impact on the human condition, that those understandings that were created now will be used 50 years, 100 years later is to make a difference in people's lives, and that the people we train will go on and carry on this work in ways that will continue to make a difference in many, many people's lives, so we continue to touch people in generations to come.